as day two of the NFL draft was coming to a close, Brandon Bean and Sean McDermott move up, get that extra third round pick, and hopefully knocks one out of the park. Welcome to Believe Talk. My name is Joe, and welcome to another draft breakdown edition of Believe Talk, where we break down each and every one of the Buffalo Bills 2019 NFL draft picks. In this episode, we will talk about our second third round draft pick, our second third round draft pick, Dawson Knox, tight end from Ole Miss. Before we do that, however, I want to remind everyone if you haven't already hit that subscribe button, guys, be sure to hit that subscribe button because we keep you updated on all Buffalo sports news, including our Buffalo Bills. We'll also keep you updated on some Sabres news and other Buffalo sports news as well. Follow us on Twitter, and we will also keep you updated there on breaking news. So again, we want to talk today about Dawson Knox, tight end from Ole Miss. Again, the Buffalo Bills trade up back into the third round to get Dawson Knox with the 96th overall pick. In the trade, the Buffalo Bills trade with the Washington Redskins. We trade the Redskins, both of our fourth round picks, to move up back into the third round, the 96th overall pick. Dawson Knox from Brentwood, Tennessee, went to Brent. Wood Academy High School. So that's where I went to high school. Played as a quarterback. You heard me right. Played as a quarterback until his senior season. Senior season, he injures his ankle and does not play the rest of the season. And then he comes back and wants to get a scholarship. Ole Miss offers him an opportunity to be a walk-on, but they offer it at the tight end position since no other schools in, at, at the collegiate level were offering a scholarship or a walk-on opportunity as a quarterback. He decides to accept Ole Miss's offer as the, and has a chance to become a tight end as a walk-on at Ole Miss. So you want to talk about Dawson Knox, you want to talk about his rookie season. Obviously, a red, red shirt freshman did not play his rookie year, um, but then he comes in to, a, to an offense that has a lot of weapons, and that's what we're talking about with Dawson Knox here. You know, you talk about uh, his work in college as far as, you know, his statistics show, not high on the statistical sh chart, but when you have three wide receivers in an Ole Miss system that doesn't really use tight ends, you're not going to see the statistics show it. However, Dawson Knox is a great great athlete and a project we will say that so as far as if you like this pick or don't like this pick it all determines how much you like projects uh, especially with a late third round pick now if you watch my tight end breakdown you know that I thought after the top three tight ends you're talking Hawkinson you're talking Fant you're talking Irv Smith Jr. After those three, I thought that there was a pretty much a, a jumbling of uh, tight ends you talk about more no you're talking about Oliver you talk about um Wilson from UCLA and you talk about Dawson Knox and some others that were thrown in there that made this a nice tight end class. Dawson Knox out of that list is one that's considered to have the best upside out of all those tight ends. So maybe that's why we take a chance here and take a project type guy. Very athletic, okay? You're talking about a guy that last season averaged 18.6 yards per catch. That's unreal. His career total was just over 15 yards per catch. Very athletic uh, guy. Also good with run blocking. Still has some technique issues. Again, you're talking about a guy that has raw talent, though. You're talking about a guy in high school, was a high school quarterback, and then came into college as a redshirt freshman, didn't play his redshirt freshman season. So hasn't played that many games. Also has been nagged by injuries. That's also a recurring theme uh, for Dawson Knox. But you want to talk about someone who has good route running, you're not going to pick up Dawson Knox, okay? Dawson Knox, again, with his raw talent, just not that great of a route runner yet. And again, he's a project, so is that something he can learn and develop? Absolutely. Um, so we will see if the Buffalo Bills you know, develop that. But in Ole Miss, did not run too many too many uh, complicated routes. Just ran some quick outs, some seam routes, things like that, some simple routes to keep things going. But he can he can get downfield again. His athleticism helps him get downfield quick. He did not participate in all the drills at the NFL Combine, again, due to the fact that he was injured. So injury bug 
shows up here again, but as pro day, you're talking about a 4.5840 time. Pretty impressive for that tied end position. Again, we talk about his blocking skills, little technique issues here and there, but overall a good blocking tight end. And again, that fits Dable's system pretty well. We know how much Dable loves to uh, run the ball and use his tight ends more as blockers than as um, wide, or receiving tight ends. So that really will help us out there. But does Dawson Knox have a chance to be the starter in Buffalo? I mean, you look at our depth chart right now, and I wouldn't be surprised, right? I mean, right now, the best tight end we have, or at least the most the most used tight end in Buffalo system is Jason Kroom, and that's been one year. So, you talk about third-round tight end, and as far as the value here for the trade, I know NFL.com did not like the uh, the trade value that we gave up for Dawson Knox, um, but I also know there are some places that had Dawson Knox ranked as an early third round pick. So getting him here at 96, not that bad a value. I personally would have loved to have both of our fourth round picks still. We saw the Redskins use one of our fourth round picks to pick up the guy I was most interested in this draft in the fourth round. That would be Bryce Love, of course, from, from Stanford. So that stung a little bit, but at the same time, we do need need tight end we knew it was a position need we get our tight end in Dawson Knox again a project here a little bit of a project is see someone that you want to put out there uh the first weekend you know opening weekend and say here's our starting tight end I'm not so sure about that again if you like this pick it all depends how much you like projects because again raw talent here a guy who was who suffered injuries only played I believe in 18 games his whole collegiate career at tight end as well so you're talking about a guy not not that many uh, opportunities to catch the ball. Again, being behind DK Metcalf, AJ Brown, and Marcus Lodge as wide receivers at Ole Miss, just never really got the opportunity. Now, he did almost, he actually almost got a chance to start at quarterback for Ole Miss after Chad Kelly went out uh, in his sophomore season. Never got that opportunity, however. Um, so we'll see what happens. Again, a very athletic tied end in Dawson Knox, averaged over 18 yards per carry last season. What a lot of speed again talked about his 4.58 40 yard time had a 34.5 inch vertical jump so that's pretty good uh you, they talk about his hands a little bit his hands he was very good at getting down below you know into the dirt and snagging some balls off the ground so you have talk about a guy who has good hands and that could become very important when you're talking about a tight end young quarterback maybe needing that safety blanket might be throwing in a hurry might not be as accurate as we've heard josh allen uh people say that he's not as accurate to begin with on the run on the move trying to avoid pressure if he uses Knox as a safety blanket might not have the most accuracy in those passes either but you talk about a guy who has good hands means you can put it down the turf he'll go get it it's one of those things where either he'll get it or no one will get it and that's also okay but by me sometimes incompletion is better or incompletion is always better than an interception so I'm good with that um Knox had zero touchdowns in at Ole Miss so his career stats are 39 catches for 605 yards so those were his career stats I just want to make sure I got that out zero touchdowns but again when you talk about three stud wide receivers with you how many looks are you getting so those were his stats uh, again not much to say here other than this is going to be a project is this a project that you're willing to work on I feel like this is a huge pick for Brandon Bean and Coach McDermott's regime uh, to see what they pull out from uh, Knox. There were some good tight ends left on the board still when they pick up Knox, right? You had more no left. You had Wilson left. Uh, I think Oliver was already gone. Sternberger was already gone. Uh, but you still had some decent values, some decent tight ends. Knox was one of them. Now you have to mold this guy to be that good blocker that you want him to be. To possibly be that athletic guy who can get downfield. Make a deep spread of defense out a little bit as well. That's very important when you talk about the tight end position. Even if he's just there as a decoy with someone as athletic as this guy is, he can definitely spread out the defense, give some openings for our young quarterback. So let me know what you think about this pick. Dawson Knox, the 96th overall pick for the Buffalo Bills. Again, let me know what you think. If you haven't already hit that subscribe button, guys, we're going to have you covered throughout the 2019 NFL season. We have you covered through all the Buffalo Bills free agency picks. Free agency, not over yet. We talk about the undrafted free agents. Now we're breaking er, down all of the drafted picks for the Buffalo Bills. We have Brandon Knox today. I'm sorry, Dawson Knox today. We're going to go over to the fifth round. Again, remember, we don't have a fourth round pick since we did the trade to get up to get Dawson Knox. We went to the fifth pick where we pick up for Sean Joseph, uh, and we, we look forward to doing that one. Probably my favorite pick of the 2019 NFL Draft. So again, thank you for joining me. I believe it's talk. My name is Joe. 
If you haven't hit that subscribe button, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, after you hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell. Let you know when we have new videos coming out. We try to get a video out really frequently. Again, we just did one yesterday. We do one today. We hope to have this done by the end of the week or into next week. But again, thank you for joining me. I look forward to talking to you all soon. Until I do, go Bills. Again, guys, thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. I wanted to get on here at the end and remind everybody that I am now an Amazon affiliate. So if you look down in the description below, I will be uh, will be linking you to Amazon.com and to some special things, whether they be Bill's merchandise, again, Mother's Day coming up around in the corner. If you click on that link and if you just shop from Amazon from there, that helps me out a lot. So I really appreciate it. If you buy the thing that's down in the description below, of course, it helps. It does not cost you anything more. But I want to make sure that everyone knows that I am Amazon affiliate. And I want to be able to make this channel grow and continue to give you the best Buffalo sports content I can. So help me out in doing that. Again, like this video, leave a comment. And I look forward to talking to you all soon. Until I do, go Bills.